the brain is, is not a muscle, the brain is fragile and it can move, it can stretch, and there's certain boundaries inside of which it can move without being disrupted. If you're in a car accident, you say, well, what do you expect? Uh, I had whiplash, I had problems, and patients are told it takes time to get better. I think that we need to get more neurooptometrists involved and we need to raise the awareness of the uh, therapists that are on the front lines treating these, uh, these patients that uh, there's more to vision than uh, 2020 eyesight. Giving skills so that quality of life is back. I was driving home from work and was T-boned by another car that was passing under the freeway and my car rolled three times. And in that, my head slammed against the side of the window and I was knocked out unconscious. A concussion is a severe blow to the head. As a result, it results in a neurological event or trauma to the brain. Um, in the hospital, they kept me for a few hours and they came in and said, you had a concussion. Um, you're going to be go you're going to be okay. Go home and just get lots of sleep. What happens is these are frequently referred to as closed head injuries, meaning there's no blood, and there's a delayed reaction. One of the things that's so unique about a concussion is that the person on the exterior looks fine. They talk fine, and many times they even walk fine. But when you talk to them about what's going on, they suddenly find that everything is overwhelming to them. They're not able to deal with a lot of visual information. I could not drive. I could not think straight. I could not focus. Everything to me was a sensory overload. With a concussion, the most common vision problems are eye strain, headaches, and even double vision. They're having trouble with focusing or eye teaming. They see words doubling. These are some of the later symptoms and signs that can relate to vision that we see as a patient passes from a concussion to perhaps a post-concussion syndrome. You also might see balance problems. In fact, uh, we've seen a number, a number of kids who literally completely would lose their balance for no reason whatsoever, just completely fall and have difficulty maintaining balance. Whenever I would stand up, it would I would feel as if I just stepped off of a boat, but the room would actually look like there were waves in it. Like it, it's very hard to describe, but it would actually look like the room was waving. Your ability to multitask almost goes down to zero, and suddenly all the abilities and all the things that they did, which were on autopilot, suddenly require conscious effort. All I could think about was, I need to get back to work, I need to get back to work, but I was, unaware of how poorly I was functioning in just my daily routine and was unable to realize if I can't do these simple tasks, how am I going to be able to work? And vision has to be addressed because if the visual system has been compromised, then it's going to make it very difficult for this person to develop and get back into society like they should. It's going to affect their learning, their thinking ability, their motor, their motor and balance system. I would go in for a few hours and be completely exhausted, completely overwhelmed, and then only to realize the next day that all the reports I had done were, the numbers were misaligned, things weren't correct, and people were having to go behind me and fix and correct my mistakes. With concussions, because many times there is no overt, obvious signs that something's going on, people tend to assume that that head injury maybe wasn't, uh, didn't have a significant impact and, it could, and it's just basically something that's gonna pass. As the months rolled on, I did see a neurologist and he put me on medication, which greatly helped with the dizziness, but there were all these other symptoms that he pretty much told me time was just gonna have to fix. Well, after a concussion, uh Instead of passively hoping and waiting for that concussion to go away, you can facilitate recovery by engaging the brain into cognitive and carefully introduced vestibular and visual activities. When it comes to vision therapy, since concussion is damaged to the pathways of the brain, and vision really happens in the brain because it's not in the local eyeballs. The eyeballs gather the information, 
and everything else happens in the brain. Vision therapy, we're really creating scenarios and conditions to help retrain the brain. Many times with uh, patients with, with concussion, we can get pretty close to um, function prior to the injury. If you can make vision better, then the quality of life can be better. After months of trying to think that this was just going to get better and lots of rest was going to make things better, I did end up enrolling myself in vision therapy and that was the turning point for me. We're basically doing what's called visual vestibular uh, therapy where we're working on trying to get uh, um, both sides of the body to work together along with both eyes. It's very important to identify that a person has had a concussion because the likelihood of a second injury is much higher once you've had a single concussion. They're additive, they're serial over time if it happens once and again each time you have another concussion it just makes the situation worse. So now the key is early detection and aggressive treatment. It's really important that an individual who has had some type of neurological trauma like a concussion be identified quickly because the sooner that is identified the quicker they can be able to receive rehabilitative care. Um, success in, in a vision therapy treatment program for any type of concussion or head injury really is based off of two underlying themes, motivation and compliance. If the patient comes in and has a long list of goals and are motivated and want to work hard and they're compliant with the combination of office and home treatment, um, really the sky's the limit as long as we're helping the patient to reach their optimum potential and, and allowing um, vision and all the roadblocks to really be eliminated from, from the recovery process. The result in vision therapy with concussion can be getting back into the classroom, being able to read and write appropriately, uh, being able to hit the baseball again and see it where it really is in place, and be able to play again and play safe. Learning to give yourself grace is tough because there's the expectation in your own mind that I just want to go back to my normal life, my life as usual, and you're not the same. A concussion shifts things, it changes things, and though you can regain life and still have a happy life, I think there's a lot to be said for the fact that you have to give yourself the grace knowing that it's going to take time.